Okay, one of the first mods I made, I took out the bench that was here, took the table, spun it around, took the legs off, and swung all that around to make a little corner eating area, although we may be moving that. As you see, this is the bunkhouse model, and it has an upper and lower bunk, and we're wanting to put an office down in this area. And one thing I did do is made a door this would lift, and opens up the area, and I'm gonna... All right, so here's part two. I cut a couple of sticks, just to, and took the screws out along the base of these, where you can lift it up and make a larger area. Uh, the plan is gonna be to take this out and make it an office. The bathrooms right over here. I guess being new to all this, I don't know how to pause and add to it. So anyway, I took the mattresses out. You can see how it's lifted up now. Just cut a couple of boards and took the screws out along the base that held that down where you could lift it up and give you a little more space. Now the plan is going to be to take out this bottom bunk and make that back there a desk and then the chair will go here. Of course some things I'm going to have to deal with. i got a water heater over here which I'm thinking I may build a pantry here or I may put a uh, an air conditioning unit here because I really don't like the sound of the air conditioner. Make it a little more peaceful. And of course they do the flooring throughout so that shouldn't be too big a deal. But I do have some piping to contend with and move around also. Alright, wood pieces are removed. Wasn't much to taking that out, just a few screws. So trying to figure out, you know, maybe a setting area back here for Laura. But then we have this piping that comes over the hot water heater and gas line. So just trying to figure out how to make that space work into an office. Uh, here's an idea. So this piece here would be cut off. So this, this part over here wouldn't be here. And then it'd be a long desk running from that corner all the way down to this. And then a, a front plate to cover that up. And then this would make a desk and eating area. And then this table will probably come out and maybe put another couch here for watching TV. Alright, so one of the first challenges I'm dealing with is the bathrooms there behind that door and there's dual bunk beds here and we're wanting to make this into an office. Got a window back here, but the problem is as you can see the plumbing runs right across where the doorway would be and there's a hot water heater and a gas line. Now the plan is going to be to build a desk across the top here and make this area a setting area. Now I just got to figure out how to take these lines and re-plumb them. And I'm thinking, I was thinking about putting them beneath the floor, but my guess is they probably ran them above the floor because they don't want them freezing. And assuming it's a little more insulation in here than hanging out underneath the trailer, so i going to have to figure out how all these little fittings work, and uh, you know, I'm probably going to look on YouTube myself to see where somebody else has done this. My thinking is I'll take in, you know, cut that loose there, maybe get some new tubing, and then just run the tubing around the outside line of the floor. And the next challenge is that tube runs from the shower back up under there and comes out, which I'm really not sure the tank is right under here, right we're almost where we're at, so... They plumbed it all the way back over and ran it through this hole here in the floor. And again, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just cut that elbow off there, elbow it back up around the back corner of the wall and bring it all the way back around here and, and drop it back here in the, in the floor. So that's the first project to work on. I've already got started, already removed this wall piece that was in there, and uh, now i got to take that other piece out and then probably do some plumbing. And a lot of this stuff's pretty simple. It's just a few screws in the wood to take them out of the walls and, and remove them. Pretty lightweight stuff. So just literally probably oh, a total of 30 minutes to take all that bottom bunk out. And this top bunk is just raised up with a couple of sticks. So 
able to lower it back down and have it bed up on top. And as you can see, increase the footage quite a bit in here. And again, we'll have the window there. Now to figure out the plumbing stuff. That may take a little bit. Stay tuned.